Hey everybody, welcome back to Positive Bluebird. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below, share my videos with your friends and family, and give it a big like. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, my health conditions, what is going on, and how I'm coping, because that's primarily what my channel is about. Um, besides sewing and crocheting and doing arts and crafts and things like that. But everybody obviously knows um, that my son and I are in an unfortunate circumstance here in Colorado. Like millions of others, we're waiting for housing. And apparently this hotel that we're in, there are hundreds of homeless people living here like us. So we're not alone. Um, there is a major housing crisis. And um, hi, do you need something? Do you need something? Hi, can I help you, Yorkie? Hi. What's up, babe? Can you give me a kiss? You don't want to give me kisses? Oh, okay. Oh, I love this dog so much. You are such a sweetheart. You know that? You are a very sweet dog. So, yeah, um, I saw my new doctor again yesterday for the second time. And we went over pretty much everything that I have been diagnosed with since my son was born almost 16 years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. And um, I'm just going to lay down. Oh, boy. What a great angle. Um, but since my son was born almost 16 years ago, it has been one diagnosis after another. It's been one symptom after another. And... Um, you know, all you can do is just keep pushing forward and staying as strong as you can. And distractions help. Um, I like doing arts and crafts. I like sewing, crocheting, hanging out with the dog, the cat, my son, um, and moving. It's very important to keep moving. Um, put your children at the top of your head and then your pets. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Doc. I love you, but your breath is horrible. <laughs> I gotta sit up. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll let me sit up. <clears throat> um, he keeps scratching me. Why are you scratching me? Can I help you, Yorkie? I love you, sweet dog. Mm. Um, so all you can do is just keep, keep pressing forward, um, because if you don't, you tend to just constantly be stuck, um, wondering and thinking, and then it makes your symptoms a little bit worse, I notice. Okay, this is not good. I'm gagging. It's <laughs> I'm cringing. I'm sorry, Yorkie, but please don't be mad at me. <laughs> please don't be mad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a reason, reason I can't talk. There's a reason why I was cringing. Oh, because of that. Oh, anyway. Oh, man. Where was I? I gotta wash my hands soon. It smells. Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> I focus on a lot of arts and crafts and drawing, and I would love to be able to show you guys some drawings here pretty soon. One of these days. I got to get myself a new sketchbook. Um, I can't find the old one. It's probably in storage. But um, there's so much that I want to do that do you ever feel so overwhelmed that you don't even know how to start your day? Um, oh, he's licking my legs now. This is gross. You just went out. You need to stop. <laughs> You're distracting me. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments if you want. 
of what you guys do to help you motivate, help you stay strong. If you're having a bad day, whether you're disabled or not, if you have handicaps, illnesses, or even if you're healthy, but you're just having one of those kind of days, tell me in the comments what you do to remain um, positive. Um, because I think we all need each other's support right now. And with what we're seeing on the news lately, it is so discouraging. It's just, it's really bringing me down. It's making me hurt a little more. Um, but yeah. And also, if you want to, let me know if you have any health conditions yourself. Um, I have way too many to list, but the main health conditions that I have are multiple kidney diseases. I'm in stage three. Um, and I will probably be on kidney dialysis in the next 10 to 20 years is what I'm told. And then I have osteoarthritis, fibro, um, and now they're guessing possibly lupus. Um, and then I have to get a heart look, a heart, um, echocardiogram done just to see what's going on with my heart. Um, because all internal organs are being affected right now. I also have Meniere's disease, which means that I am about around 60 to 65% deaf, but more deaf in the left ear. And I will lose complete hearing um, in a matter of time. And it is a progressive disease. So, um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, a lot of people look at me and go, she's not disabled. She's fine. She's milking the, the government, blah, blah, blah. She just wants benefits, you know. What I say to that is, oh, well, I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you think. Um, you know, Social Security is there for a reason. And I wouldn't say anything mean because um, I used to think negatively about the disabled community back in the 1980s when I was a teenager. And I used to frown upon the homeless. And now I'm in that position. So I have no room to talk. So be careful of what you guys say because you never know if you might be there someday. So I love you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know, um, you know, if you've got any health concerns of yourself or any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you're having a positive day. Sorry about the dog. That was kind of gross. I tried to pan away from that quickly. But yeah, I got to go wash my hands. Love you guys. Peace out. Make it a positive one.